like to propose a toast. Here, here. Here's to a long and... Wait a minute. Here's to a short and happy engagement. <laughs> Cheers, darling. Cheers. Mm. Oh, look who's here. Yoo-hoo. Yoo-hoo, you guys. Oh, oh, hey, Dennis. Hey. What's up? Hi. Well, Terry, I must say your taste in men is on the rise, darling. Yes, that means yours must be, too. Hey, does that mean uh, you two dated the same guy once? Oh, no, 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 Dennis. Uh, lips that touch Terry's will never touch mine. I'd love to invite you to uh, sit down and celebrate with us, but you, you two look like you're just oozing with oil talk. Yes, uh, look at all this work that uh, Terry dug up for me, huh? Yes. What are you celebrating? Shall we tell them, darling? Why not? Uh, from the <laughs> rooftops and all that. <laughs> well, Dennis and I are engaged. You're kidding. Well, uh, congratulations. Thank you, Ryan. I, uh, think... You better wait till Iris gets back before you go telling too many people. Mom already knows. I told her when she called to wish us a happy new year. You haven't set a date yet, have you? No, not yet, but uh, Dennis was just saying that he didn't want to wait too long, weren't you, darling? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure hope Iris gets well, back uh, soon. I think we better get well, to I our don't. Date. Mom needs a rest. Besides, my fiancé and I are happy without her. Right? Right. My poor darling. You're still so weak. I have to protect you. I have to keep Elliot away from you. I don't know what he wants with me. But whatever it takes, you'll be safe. can be keeping Iris. It's uh, going to be a handsome sunset, sir. Handsome. Yes, Edward, would you please tell Mrs. Wheeler the sun is going down and it's getting chilly. Maybe she's fallen asleep. Oh, no. I'm sure she'll be right along, sir. Yeah, well, I'll find her myself then. Sir, mm. there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Well? Well, I'm glad you're here, Mr. Carrington. Mrs. Wheeler's been so despondent lately, sir. I... I know you can raise her spirits. Well, I'll do my best. And, sir, uh, may I make a suggestion? Can I stop you? <laughs> Something Mrs. Wheeler would enjoy, I'm sure. You know, these waters are absolutely first-rate for fishing. The two of you could rent a fishing boat. Now, right along this frontage, about a quarter of a mile... Iris? An angler? I don't think so. <laughs> well, you could watch the boats come in and pick out the best of the catch. Mm. Your notion of virus as a fish aficionado is off the mark, to say the least, but thank you just the same. Well, it's great fun, sir. I did it myself yesterday. Picked out four large lobsters for dinner. Well, fun for you, perhaps, but... Four. Another thing is the uh, inter-island sloop to Charlotte du Malfu. Uh, it's, it's a lovely city, sir. Just... Did you say you served four for dinner last night? Yes. We had guests from another yacht moved here. Edward, why are you pestering Mr. Carrington? Go below, please. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I thought you hadn't had any company. I didn't know them. I don't know. They'd, they'd known Alex somehow. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> after what Edward fed them, I'm sure they won't be back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little girl. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. With Elliot Carrington? He's here in St. Croix? Well, why in the world did you let him on board? I didn't know. I thought he was her friend. The man is dangerous. What did he take? Did he force her to go? No, he didn't. I don't know where they went. Uh, dinner was all they said. She seemed anxious to go. She's decoying him. And where were you two? I to ring all three of your necks. That's right. Well, ringing necks won't help now. We've got to find her. She doesn't know what she's doing. Ricky, I want her away from that man. Right, get on the phone, check all the local hotels, and find out where he's registered. I'll go after No, him. let me, Ricky. If 
Both of you. Go on, make it fast. Now, wait. Somebody's got to stay here. What if they come back? I'll be here. I have a gun in my cabin. That's good. Look, you stay, too. That, that doesn't make sense. I'll be safe enough with him in public. She's right. Besides, I, I remember something. Alex! Now, listen. I may not be suspicious at all. Let's keep it that way. Ricky knows your face. So use Shelly at the front for you. But be careful. Okay. Don't get changed. Don't worry about a thing, Alex. Shelly, you gonna be all right? Sure, Rick. I'll be terrific. Quite good, aren't they? Hmm? Oh, very nice, oh. yes. The band. Hmm. Yes, very. I'm afraid my mission has come a cropper. Admit it, you're not too rapturously entertained. Oh, I am. How are things in Houston? Oh, very Houstonian. Oil and bowl games are the topics of the day. Snore. <laughs> How was Dennis when you left? A perpetual worry wart. I'm afraid so. How was he? Fine. Engaged, but then you knew that. Uh, don't remind me. Yes, I knew, and I don't like it one bit. Aha. Uh -huh. At last. A topic she can warm to. I'm serious. How Dennis was ever tricked into that sorry match, I cannot imagine. No, I, I take that back. I can. I thought Paige Marshall and you were uh, quite chummy. Even from time to time in successful cahoots. Nonsense. She waited until I left to work this preposterous scheme. She knew better than to try while I was there. Well, that just shows how sorely you're needed. Well, we'll see how well it thrives once I get back. <laughs> well, why didn't you talk to him, try to stop him? He'd have listened to you. I talked to him. Eh? He's not a child, Iris. Who can dissuade a man from facing his doom head on? If I were him, I wouldn't have listened either. In fact, I was once, and I didn't, did I? Did you what? I don't follow. Paige Marshall calls to mind another girl I knew once upon a time. Beautiful, wily, with a gift for finding the surest means to the quickest end. That's your fiction of me. I'm not like her. I never was. I did what I did for the people I loved. Among whom I was never numbered, was I? Well, perhaps you're right. How could it be the same? After all, as far as I know, Paige isn't pregnant. I seem to have a history of defeated intentions. Whatever I set out to do, I somehow make void. This was to be our night. I'm sorry. Don't you ever get tired of punishment? Punishing me and then yourself. I thought you had forgiven me. I have. You said you had. I have. I want to. The mind does relapse into the old ways of feeling. All your words, miles and miles of them. Is there anything you can't explain? How much my son means to me. Don't say it. He is mine. You told me so then. I I find I can't stop believing it. You're dreaming yourself into a corner, Elliot. No matter how you try, and I know you have, you can't obliterate the truth. Why not? Hmm? Why not? Wheeler's dead. Dennis doesn't know. He need never know. You promised to say nothing. You wouldn't go back on that now. Of course not. Would you? 